السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم This is just a recap from the um, lesson on Thursday uh, We were going through the ayat which start with Ya أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم I'll just go slide by slide First by the recitation, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا قوا أنفسكم وأهليكم نارا وقودها الناس والحجارة وقودها الناس والحجارة عليها ملائكة غلاظ شداد لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون ما يؤمرون So we had previously covered يا أيها الذين أوه those who believe, or you who believe, Qu, save, or shield, Anfusakum, yourselves, by doing good deeds, Wa ahlikum, and your families, by advising them, about Islam and the Akhirah, from what? Naran. So here, the word Naran is highlighted, and the reason it's highlighted is that instead of writing An-Nar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written Naran. An-Nar is the definite form, the fire. But here, literally, it says Naran, a fire. So you might, uh, usually, when you use the definite, An-Nar, that's a stronger way of talking about something. But when you just use the indefinite, usually it's weaker. But sometimes, in the Qur'an, um, this is used deliberately to actually imply something even more uh, stronger. So here is what the commentator says: nari munakkaran. The word nar has come munakkaran, i.e., with the tanween at the end, litahwil, to make you afraid, to terrify. A naran azimatan. A fire which is great. لا يعلم مقدار حرها. No one knows the extent of its heat. إلا الله إلا الله إلا الله تعالى. Except Allah, the Most High. So just to summarize that, just remember the word ناراً. And sometimes you will see this in the Quran. You will expect the indefinite word, and you get an indefinite. So ask yourself: Is this what's going on?